Now? Yeah. Right now? Start talking now? Cool. Hey, it's the Chaz and AJ Week in Review podcast, Facebook Live thingy. I'm Chaz. AJ's over there. Top. Pam's right there. Hey. Phil's over there. Hello. Uh, so what do you want to start with? Uh, we have a new governor, so that's exciting. Yeah. Right? That's what happened day one. One of his dance moves. Yeah. Did you see that video? Yeah. Pam, did you see it? I sure did. All right. Can you uh, uh-huh. replicate the dance? It was like this. I just remember this one big move. Do you stomp like that, Where too? he was doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's like running in place. But he was getting high. Yeah. He was getting real high. Yeah. His legs were, like, up here. Yeah. And then he was kind of like... <laughs> right. And and it's funny because the dance floor kind of opened up like, oh, we're about to see something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, you saw something, but it wasn't like flash dance or no. something. No, no, oh. it wasn't. It wasn't Sinai Fever either. Yeah. Yeah, no. It was, no it was more like cat on a hot tin roof something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, floor was, the floor was really hot over that one spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah where's shoes next time? I, I have to be honest. You know, um, he wasn't my guy. And uh, I, I was sad all day, Inauguration Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I... I, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're about to Uh-oh. cry? What well, happened? No, no. I just kept looking in my photos because when I woke up at like three fifty-three, oh. the morning after the election, he was in the lead. Right. He and was. so I googled the results because I went to bed. It was unknown. I wake up. I look and I see the picture. I, I see Google and he's in the lead. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Fuck! How the hell this happened? This is so fucking awesome because people will." Give us credit for his win. Right. Right? We look like geniuses. We're going to be best friends with the governor. This is going to be awesome. He's, we're going we're gonna to text. He's going to call. Exactly. He'll be there. We'll be over there. We're going to Young Dogs, right? You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's going to be. Oh, this is great. Yeah. And. It's all good. We're, more importantly, we're going to get the state on track, and it's going to stop this stupid spending shit. Right. All that. And then it but was, no! you know, it's like one of those dreams where you dream you're a millionaire and then you wake up and yeah. you're like, fuck, I'm, 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 broke. I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what happened to yep, me. Yep. Yeah. So I was kind of sad all day and he texted me and I texted him mm. and uh, yeah. So, but whatever. And now, like I said, it's over and now we move on yes. and we, we root for Lamont because Hey, if he does badly, we all do badly. Right? Exactly. So yeah. we gotta gotta make it work. And you know, our story arc with Malloy, we were neutral both elections, and then the fucker lied to us right off the bat. Keyword fucker. Uh you know, leading up to his re election. Yep. And uh and then we it became this whole war. Yep. And uh um, four year war. Yeah. He called us shock jocks. Yes. Shock jocks. Shock right. jocks, right. Yeah. It became a whole thing. And uh the people at Quinnipiac, the polling people, really pinned his decline in the numbers mostly on us. They said as soon as you guys turned on him, his numbers tanked. Yep. And uh, so we're probably part of, and I don't mean us for, I mean us, tribe. Yeah. Uh, as a whole. Co- as a whole, mm-hmm. responsible for him not running for re-election. So I'll take some pride in that. Congratulations, But it was folks. brutal. Like, Gov's got to go, and we sent Kenny and Stosh ball oh, out. Right. It's, it's been a whole thing. The dynamic duo, yeah. So we thought, wouldn't it be funny or interesting or, like, must-hear radio to have him in or on one more time? Right. And so Pam sent out an invitation. Mm-hmm. And uh, how did that go? I got nothing back. Nothing. <laughs> I called. Cold show the ghosted. Yeah, yeah. Not even ghost. Yeah, I wouldn't even consider it ghosting because he never... I never even talked to them. Yeah. So I emailed and I left a voicemail yeah. and then nothing. Well, I have no idea why you wouldn't want to reach out. To makes me. no sense. <laughs> Not in the best years of our lives. That email chain back and forth was killing me. It was <laughs> so funny. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, you know, we thought about it. I thought about it like a year ago and then Phil mentioned it before the toy drive. And I've been kind of sitting on the idea, and I thought, it is really, it would be compelling. Very right? compelling. And I thought to myself, what's the win for us, right? Because the tribe would want me to shove it down his throat. No, you know, like, up all, an area. Or up or down. <laughs> this way. But So <laughs> if I don't, if, if, if it's not a brawl and he doesn't leave bloody, I lose, right? And exactly. I don't mean I don't mean really no, not but I mean fist fight mm-hmm. verbally. Right. But then 
you're inviting the guy on. He's a sitting governor, and you're rude to him? Like, why would you invite him in if you're going to be rude? And right. if I let him talk... Who the fuck wants to hear him say anything? Well, We've heard him enough. Just right? watch the press conference if that's what you want. Well, right. Well, if you want talk. bullshit, watch the press conference. He, he can't talk. <laughs> yeah. So I thought, man, there, there's only one way we come out a winner, and we, we kind of lose because we're going to be rude to a sitting governor who we invited in. Right. So, uh, but we were willing to take that chance. And yes. Yeah, why not? We gave it a shot. Yeah, it didn't work out. Nope. I'm surprised. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Um, the psychic was amazing. Uh, totally amazing. I don't know if you got a chance to hear it on the podcast. So it was about a half an hour, 40 minutes. And we've spoken to a lot of psychics. Some good. Some are pretty impressive. Um, this one was incredible. Beyond amazing. Listen, listen to the whole thing because what he did with Pam was pretty amazing. Yep. It was crazy. He didn't. Everything he said was spot on. I thought you were going to bawl your eyes out. I was, I was, and then um, somehow I pulled it together. I don't know why, because normally I can't pull things together. Um, I, I, I think I just really wanted to hear what he was saying, and it was a nice feeling. It was nice to feel Knowing like, that yeah, because he was saying that my grandparents were there and they were, you know, warm. Are you and, were tight with your grandma? Yeah, real tight. So I used to see her. You know, we used to go. We went to Italy together. She grew up in Italy. I went back to the homeland, and she like showed me all around. And I used to go see her like every weekend and help her with like go to hair appointments and stuff like that. So she always yeah, was, comes through. Yeah. Anytime every time. we have a psychic on, it's yeah. the first person who's like, hey, I want to yeah. talk to Pam. It's my girl. It's right. like a phone, you know? Right. Yeah. It's like the, fo- the phone and mm-hmm. on the other side goes up and your grandmother's like, hey, give me that. Yes. Right. Basically, it's Pam. <laughs> she older. and I were tight. <laughs> I want to talk. Uh huh. Right. And I look just like her, which. <laughs> really? <laughs> Can wow. you bring in a picture? I think I may have one on Facebook. Oh, really? <laughs> I could look at, but it's a profile picture. <laughs> Short and plump, so You're I know what plump. my fu- no she no. was. So I know what my future is. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's looking for a little rotund girl. <laughs> That'd be funny if that happens when you're in a coast guard. You won't be able to get through the door of the boat. Right. Yeah. They'll call her buoy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then, and then, um, once he went to AJ, that was mm. pretty. I started to cry towards the end. Yeah, I started to lose it because you know it was a nice feeling knowing said that my male, dad. And then he said, uh, you know, whatever. We we kind of established that your father. It's probably your father. Then he said cars, right. old cars, right, and all of these things. And bald, he was. The only thing I thought, I thought after, he could have gone through your Facebook page and got some of this stuff. Right, well, I you know I post cars of myself, but my, I only have like. I only have a couple of pictures of my dad on there, and there's nothing to do with cars with him. It's not even just pictures, but, like, we've had podcasts, like, when you took your dad to the Bear Jackson. Like, that's an easy connection. Are you trying to you... shatter yeah. the illusion, Phil? <laughs> no. I, you know, and I thought, like, I don't want to, like, damper this moment, and I do believe it was your dad coming through, and it was a pretty amazing moment. But I'm a cynic, and I always try to figure out, no, all no. right, mm-hmm. if this is a trick, how was it done? Exactly. And uh, some of the stuff with Pam's, like, family, I, that's not online. We Nothing haven't talked is. about it on air. It's nowhere. Some of this stuff with AJ's dad, it's out there. But mm. really, have we ever had a guest that would prep that much? That, that was going to be my other point. Even yeah. being out there, you'd have to dig and not just know where to look, but when. Right. You know, like, because the, the podcast, like, you can't really go and just search, like, how do you AJ's know he's, dad. How do you know he's AJ, man? Exactly right. And you get, right. get, get past yeah. all the foot pictures and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of work involved, yeah. The foot pictures. Yeah, all the pictures of me on the deck, smoking a cigar on my feet in the background. Yeah. Right, that would have been something that came up. Exactly. He would have been like, I see cars, I see cats, I see feet. Right. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> in that order. Right. I don't want to say anything else because it's not I proper. I see feet posed by a drink. <laughs> yeah, and a cigar. You must admit, I do set the, set the, I set the foot up nicely. That almost became a poem. I right. see cars, I see cats, I see feet. I see a grill full of meat. <laughs> <laughs> the ode to AJ. There you go. Oh see, ode to Write AJ's it. Instagram. I got an ode. I see someone mad at old people driving on the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a thing. Uh, I see him throwing a fill off the, off the roof. Isn't that neat? Right. <laughs> and what? And it was neat? Yes. <laughs> and it was neat. Uh, Lisa Lampanelli was awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, switching from comedy to life coach, and who? Uh, That's a bold move. Did, did they post it on the Facebook page? Yeah, it's on the Instagram page, the PLR Instagram page. Uh, 
3T, T3P, Rio, wrote, holy shit, she looks like AJ. Really? Okay. Kind of see if you look at this picture, there's somewhat of a resemblance, except for he's a lot darker than she is. Well, thank I you think for their noses are similar. Well, yeah, we're Italian. Get Roman noses, Roman's over her face. I would never have seen that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but now I, I'm, I'm seeing it. Oh, I mean, yes. Can't blow this picture you up. do look similar. Uh, She's a pasty white version of you. Right, exactly, yeah. She could be your sister. I'm the uh, I'm mm-hmm. the tan version. She could be your pasty white sister. Exactly, right. We call her pasty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We call her rice. <laughs> your pasty face rice cake. I like her. I love her. She's good. Each time she comes on, God I bless. like her a little bit more. God bless you, Pam. Yep. What the hell's going on over there? I'm She's very always, sneezy. She sneezes a lot. You got to hear her first thing in the morning, the monkey cage. She comes in within, I would say, five minutes. She's blasting away. I think it's the studio. I think it's dusty or something. Mm. <laughs> if that was your problem, you'd be dead at your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true. No, it's probably the opposite. Right. Oh, yeah. It's clean. clean. Right. <laughs> what is this? What I, is this? I smell hurts. clean. I'm allergic. Fresh air. <laughs> there's, no, there's no smell of rotting meat. <laughs> Uh, any plans for the weekend? Uh, AJ's I, going gun shopping right now. Yeah, well, actually, I'm going to put plunk some money down. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. I'm I've getting, never heard I'm, that saying before. I've never seen Phil look more nervous. Yeah, it's going to be like someone's dying. It's not like that. No, 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 no. No, no. it's I not angry. I love you guys. No, no, no. This, 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 <laughs> not us. This people is, on the road in Milford is, on no, Cherry no, Street. No, 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 no. Don't get that I want to make so going. many jokes now, but you know how the internet will turn it into something yeah. else? Exactly. No, Just no. kidding. It's straight, it, uh, first of all, I, I like going to the gun range. The yeah, gun range target shooting. Exactly. Yeah. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> and also, uh, yeah, for protection. I mean, it's a crazy freaking world out there. Las Vegas, what happened, did it for me. That's when I finally said, you know what? Screw this noise. I'm yeah. not gonna be a sitting duck for somebody. I remember yeah. that. That was not so. We did talk about that on the air, but I, I just remember the meeting before the show after this had happened. AJ, like we we didn't even talk about what was happening because AJ was losing his mind. Mm. Yeah, I'm no. done with this. It, I'm just a sitting duck out there. Like I just remember him just being so animated about how uncomfortable he felt. Yeah, so, I forgot all about that. Yeah, then I got mm-hmm. my, my uh, I took the test. And, you know, the, 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 that uh, all happened after that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Las Vegas did it. I'm like, you know what? Screw I just it. have a feeling you if you were anywhere. ever put in that situation, you'd pull your gun out and shoot yourself by accident. No, no. <laughs> I do. No, I my... think you'd be like, boom, ah! Oh! Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try not to, yeah. but I appreciate that. But I mean, you know, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go chasing after somebody. I'm going to hunker no, down. No, of course But if you find me, you're going to find I'm trained on you at the same time. Right. Be like, hi, boom. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to go uh, plunk down some cash on a... Uh, hi, on, boom. On a, yep. <laughs> yep. So you'd actually say hi first. Yeah, because it's funny. <laughs> 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 hi, <laughs> boom. <laughs> yeah, but what if they pull the trigger before you say... It, before you're, try, like, you're like, you're like, boom. You, you've heard how fast I can talk. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> yeah. True. The guy would be like, wait, what'd you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a flubble? I'd be going... <laughs> and then you would blow out the gun like this, and the diapers for now for what just happened, <laughs> or not? TSA just shooting there, just just stand, just, just shooting around. They're standing around. TSA, right? <laughs> so thanks, guys. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, Chang Tung that. Yes, yeah, somebody what? block that from happening. <laughs> I think you just spoke Chinese. I did. Chang Tung Tung. Um. Yeah, AJ got me a hundred dollar gift certificate to Blue Line, which is their proud sponsors. That's where I'm going. The show, yep. they're awesome. They're in Monroe or Trumbull. Uh, Monroe. Is that on the on the border? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, uh, really cool place. So I get this on my birthday, and uh, Jennifer took the day off, and she's like, "What do you want to do?" I said, "I want to go gun shopping." There you go. Oh. And so we went, and I got I got a new toy. There you go. A cool mm. toy too. I love it. Fun. Oh yeah, it's very nice. Fun. Yep. Um, so now I'm buying my toy. I'm on that buying. I'm putting some money You're down. You're putting some money down. I don't down. have the rest of it yet. So yeah. So because I'm still waiting for my my permit to actually come for the mail. Right. It takes 14 <laughs> to 16 weeks. That was a thousand weeks ago. 14 yeah. to 16 weeks. It did it's in October. Do the math. Pam. So yeah. we're looking. We're looking at the beginning part of February. So. All right. So when did Las Vegas happen? Uh, over a year ago. Right. I, I took I, I, I took October the test. October 2017. I took the uh, I took the NRA test that November. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
And then, you know, you're busy, you're doing stuff, and, you know, between, between doing our stuff and doing stand-up comedy the weekends, I didn't really have any chance to go and mail my stuff out. I had to pay out the bills off, so. AJ also, if I'm remembering correctly, I think you tried to drop it off at the Milford Police Department, and they were like, no, you don't do that here. No, I did do it there. That's where you're supposed to do it. October 1st, 2017. Yeah, I took it in November. Yeah, so over a year. Yeah. Well, that's all right. For yeah, you, no, that's fast. Yeah, November, November is, I mean, not November. Milford Police Department is where I'm supposed to bring it. But you need to go to the state police, too. Well, no, you go, you go to, you go to there first, and then you get your state. Right. So, then, yeah, you get your clearance through the city, right? That you live in, right? And then you go to the state, right? Because they said after this one, then there's another hurdle, and there's another hurdle after that. Yeah. So I'm I want to go. I want to go to the range. You know, it's fun. Uh what else? We're going to be selling stuff in our office. We're having a big cleaning on Monday. God, we need it. Yeah, purging more like it. It's been years. It's a little embarrassing. Yeah. So we get a lot of stuff. Great gifts. Um. And things and whatever, and it just uh, piled up. It kind of looks like a teenage girl's car. Yeah, you know what I mean, like right. a nineteen-year-old girl's car. Like Minus just the shoes. everything ends up in there, all over the place. Right, like a bad, like, like the bad junk closet you have at your house. Yeah, mm-hmm. like um, a bowling ball might come out and like land on your head and you open the door. We'll probably go in there with a <laughs> with a camera on Monday and show you what we got and Boom. see if you want any of the stuff and maybe we can uh, sell some of it for the toy drive. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Any comments? Thoughts? Kyle already wants to buy some shit. Really? Yep. We don't have any shit for Kyle sale. is really the best. He mm-hmm. is like, my guy. Anytime we ask anything, he's right there. Thank you, Kyle. Yes. Thank you, Kyle. And we missed you at the toy drive, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. Next year, though, definitely make a date. Yeah. It's, uh, it'd be this year. <laughs> yes. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. It, it feels like it just happened. Yeah. So. Right. It's and true. we talked about you winning employee of the year. We did. In a in a podcast, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm good with not bringing that up again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like talking about. Well, it. Well, we want to answer a couple of questions about it. One, it's called the Connoisseur Cup. Yes. The company that we work for is Connoisseur. Yes, it's uh, treated like the Stanley Cup, right? So you win it, your name gets put on it, and then you get to keep it for that year, and then you have to give it back, and it goes to someone else. So right. it's not like every year there's a new cup and you get to keep it at your house. So it kind of rotates through. Right. Which is a lot of fun. There's this tradition now where you have to drink out of it. Right. And it's funny, really the takes. first year, like, 18 people got sick. And the second year and the third year, too. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It's so become, yeah, it's, I was it's prepared a to where... end the tradition. I'm like, I don't I don't want people getting sick. And the boss is like, no, you got to do it. Yeah, we can't Five course lights. The nice thing about winning is you're the first one, so you're not going to mm-hmm. get sick. So that's why I stood right next to Phil. I'm like, I'm... <laughs> I got to be second or third. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I yeah. think it was sloppy 90. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but the fact that you took one was interesting. That meant a lot. Yeah, because I, I don't, because I was driving, so I won't even take a sip of any alcohol if I'm driving. Yeah. But it was Phil, so I'm like, if I take a tiny, tiny, it was a tiny sip, you could probably fill a thimble with it, but I did have some. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It meant a lot. It meant a lot. And I, I told him, I'm like, listen, if you want to fake the sip, I'm okay with it, but I need you to at least get a photo mm. holding this. It'd mean a lot to me. And he's like, oh, well, I'm taking a sip. Yeah. yeah. So I took cool. a sip. Nice. And I drank about like 19 wars and like yeah, like chewed gum and then was drove home really paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> Were you really? No. Oh. Kidding. Yeah. Cold joke. And then, uh, Pam, you took some. I did. Yeah. Yes, I have to. Actually, she rinsed her feet off in it. Well, it was definitely a long time coming, and uh, I'm glad that the company acknowledged mm-hmm. the work that you do for right. the show. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you. You actually, you had won the first award of the night, uh, which was um, no surprise, I think, Tillery, to any of us. Yeah. Right. Sam Tillery Community Service Award. Yep. Sam Tillery brought me in as an intern in May of 1986. And so he basically opened the door. And uh, so it's his fault, all of this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, thank you, Sam. Yeah, I talked about this on the air a little bit, but, uh, you know, people through your life affect how the person that you become. And he had a big effect on how I operate in this building. And, uh, just the, the example that he set for people, the way he treated people, like he always listened and he was always very excited to see young Chaz, mm. but just really a tremendous human being. So to have my name on a plaque with his name, I was like, Drew came over to me and shook my hand. I couldn't even, like he knew I couldn't talk. Yeah. It was like, not a time to talk. Right. But, uh. I'm going to donate the plaque to the radio station because it would be really an honor to have that hanging somewhere here. Mm, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
But right. uh, yeah, no, it was awesome. I affect you too. You get that twitch now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it was black, and I had hair when I started with this guy. <laughs> yeah, you can you can verify my pictures. That's right. Yeah. It was it was the most fun I had at one of these company parties. It was fun. a good time. Yeah. I was going to Joey C's. You know, great food. Yeah, the boathouse. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Let's wrap this up. Start a weekend here. Yeah, really. Come on, beer clock. I uh, I think you should like if you if you're into psychics and stuff, listen to the podcast. Yeah. With the psychic, because you may want to go to the Ridgefield Playhouse Sunday. Mm-hmm. Like it was mind blowing. You should go. Mind yeah. blowing. We are that. getting a request to do the chicken Super Bowl pick again this year. Oh. Ugh. And That's a good idea. The picking chicken. chicken. Uh, when the that picking ch- chicken. When that chicken shits, the boy. Woo! It was Whoa. wrong last year, wasn't it? If I remember correctly, it was I right. I don't remember. I think it was wrong. I, can't uh, I, I would have to look again. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. I can't think. I can't even week. remember who was actually in the Super Bowl last year. We just never communicated the idea of. Um, we never told the chicken crap on the winner or crap on the loser. So I didn't know. Yeah. 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 You don't remember <clears throat> climbing the pole out in the parking lot? Yeah, but I don't remember who the Super Bowl person was. Oh, okay. Uh, Eagles. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh. you can still see pants. Sur- searching, <laughs> searching, searching, searching. Yeah. Fingerprints on the pole out there. Yeah. How, did, the how did that happen, the grease pole thing? Because Philadelphia won the championship, and they had never won a Super Bowl before. Oh, so to guys, prevent them from climbing the light poles in Philadelphia from the celebrating, poles. they did. They used axle grease and Crisco right. to right. prevent people. They climbed it anyway. Right. right. And Pam was like, I think I could do it. But so we greased a pole with Crisco. No, she couldn't do it. Nope. I have not looked at that poll since that day. It's discolored from the, <laughs> from the Crisco. It's been, a, it's been 11 months. It looks yeah. like. Is it from the gris- Crisco or is it from the body oil? It, it looks like. It looks AJ like, did it too. It looks, like a bad, it looks like a bad rectal stick. Yeah. Oh my God. It's yeah. so dark. Did you get a shot of that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're running about. That by, is so. Oh, you're running. I, yeah, you're about a quart, about a quart low. <laughs> You're about a quart low, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> the effect that we have. Yep. And then, I can't understand why they hate us. We leave this wake behind. We don't so even mad. realize we're leaving yeah. it. Between they that and the burnout so of doing the parking lot. Oh, yeah, you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried it wouldn't come up on the camera, but yeah, yeah you can see it. Totally. Oh, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Ew, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> what a Kyle, right? What a Kyle, right? Pole still has Pam juices on it. <laughs> what Is that Kyle's voice? <laughs> or it's more like. Oh, Long, isn't he like Long Island sounding? Yeah. Ah, but the pole still has Pam juices on it, kid. The nanny. <laughs> yes. What the hell was that? Yeah, Pam doing an accent. Yeah. Kyle sounds That's like the nanny. Happened. Hey. That's my thing. Kyle sounds terrible. Well, thanks for listening and watching, and um, we'll see you next week. Right? Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm Chaz. That's AJ. See you. Pam, Phil. See ya. Bye. Peace out. Bye bye.